Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for December 26th, 2020. The character the Ironclad and the modifier star Seal deck craft a deck from 30 random cards. Diverse cards are not restricted by your character, and binary card rewards contain only two cards. Before I get started, and you can always, in the description I have the timestamp for when the run actually starts, but before I get started I figured, uh, first of all, thanks everybody who commented on my run yesterday. I want to go back and review some of the scores of people who commented, because I think everybody did very well, uh, with the exception of me, I didn't do so, so great. So Vorpal uh, yesterday was very high up, uh, now he's 10th, uh, tied with 11th, really good score. And then Browersley also left a comment, also, also really good score, past the 2000 mark. And then going further down the list, um, I, throughout the day, just kept falling down and down in terms of the score. Uh, wait, no, I pressed the wrong button here, going down the list this way. Um, so yeah, I think now I'm 44th. Um, let me make sure that... I'm, oh yeah, and then I see Alex down here with 1988, which is exactly 25 points more than me. So that might have been just another perfected elite or a collector bonus. I dropped down to 44th place, which is a little disappointing. Um, but it does happen, it was just a little unlucky. And then I think if we go down further, yeah, Votoro got 1863, and according to his comment, he just missed the Act 2 boss fight, which means if he had won that, it would have been 1963, and he would have been much higher up. He would have been actually close to where I was. So, yeah, a lot of luck depending there, but um, yeah, some people got more lucky than others. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is that um, you might notice a slight difference in either the audio or video quality of this video. Uh, funny story, my gaming computer actually crashed. I um, was cleaning it uh, yesterday. I thought I'll, I'll use the holidays to uh, sort of do some spring cleaning and uh, do some upgrades, install a new hard drive, and then upon restarting it, uh, it wouldn't post. Uh, it, the BIOS gives me an error that it cannot detect the keyboard, and as a result, it cannot start. Uh, which is very weird because it's supposed to start even without a keyboard. But I tried different things. Obviously, I tried connecting multiple keyboards, uh, including one with a PS2 adapter, which is not supposed to use any drivers and still nothing works. So I have to obviously spend more time dealing with that. Uh, I have to admit, I was looking at buying a new uh, CPU anyway, so this might be just the right opportunity for me. So in the meantime, I am using my work computer, uh, which is surprisingly way better. It, it does really well with this game and it can record and stream and everything. Uh, but uh, the audio quality, all of my settings from OBS were removed, so I had to redo that. Um, so let me know in the comments, don't be shy, if either my volume is too loud or the game is too loud or whatever happens, let me know in the comments and I can fix it for tomorrow. But I was testing right before this run and I think this should be, everything should be fine here. All right, let's get started. Sealed deck, diverse and binary, right? Okay, so sealed deck, diverse, and binary. Uh, do I have ways to enter Wrath here? I don't think so. Oh, well, I have a Crescendo. I wonder if I should take it. I have Crescendo and Empty Fist, so I could enter and exit Wrath, although only once. Um, but it might not be a bad idea to have Crescendo, and then as soon as my hand has enough attack cards to just enter Wrath and kill everything. I also see a Perfected Strike, which is going to be pretty useless in this particular uh, setup. An uh, early genetic algorithm is interesting. Turbo might be nice. Yeah, this is this is going to be tough. I think a lot of um, a lot of how this run will go will depend on what cards or how I'll pick these early cards. But I think I should definitely do crescendo and empty fist, and then genetic algorithm. Turbo I think is good. Ball lightning might be nice for a f uh, for attacks and beam cell. Okay. And then uh, I think I picked a lot of offensive cards, so let's try to find some good defenses. Do I want Feel No Pain? I don't really exhaust that much. Let's do Deflect. Iron Wave might be a good compromise. Yeah, let's do Iron Wave. I have two more that I can pick. Sash Whip is decent for weakness. Actually, I should definitely do Piercing Whale. Who's my final boss here? It's the Slime. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, maybe, so I have three defensive cards, right? Deflect, Piercing Whale, and the Genetic Algorithm. So maybe three is enough. I should just focus on another attack card like Streamline or Thunderclap, actually. Yeah, I don't have any AoE. Actually, this whole sealed deck uh, offer doesn't give you any AoE except for the Thunderclap. Let's take the Thunderclap then. Yeah, this is this is a very aggressive deck because I basically only have three defensive cards and then the rest is offense with Turbo and Crescendo as support. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to uh, pick up a few other card rewards on the way. All right, unfortunately, only a one elite path. Uh, let's see, so if I go on the left, actually, I guess if I'm trying to maximize question mark rooms, 
on the left side, I'll get one, two, three, four, five. Okay. If I stick on the right, I can do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I think the right side has one more. And then I would have to go for this early shot, but I think that's unavoidable. Yesterday was an example of, I think if I didn't go for an early shop, I might've gotten better relics later on and well, might've been able to afford those better relics too. After this point too. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the right path. Yeah. My goal is to maximize question marks so I can get more, more curses. All right. So let's do beam cell, thunderclap, iron wave and empty fist. And this is an example of as soon as I draw crescendo. Oh, I have to remember to always play the genetic algorithm. Let's play that piercing well ball lightning. Actually, I, could, I guess I could have entered the crescendo since I had the piercing well, so I wouldn't have any incoming damage. But any good attack will kill here. Good. Okay. All right. Riddle with Old's turbo. I don't have any strength, and I don't really think I'll have any strength synergies. And then I already have a turbo, so I might have to skip this. I will take the Riddle with Old just because I feel bad about rejecting a card this early on, but I'm not sure if it'll be super useful. All right. So here I can do... Crescendo, and then deflect. Okay, and then I can do. Oh, I I wanted to do Iron Wave, but maybe I'll just do Beam Cell and Root with Holes. Yeah, that might be a little better. I'll accept two damage. I'm healing back six anyway afterwards. Play the Genetic Algorithm, and then this kills right. Okay. All right, Streamline Carve Reality. Definitely want to go with the Carve Reality here. Okay, so uh, let's do Riddle with Holds to kill you and then have to do the Genetic... You know what? Let's just do all of these. Okay. Got an Energy Push and Talk to the End is really good. I should definitely take that. All right, I was kind of hoping to pick up defensive cards, but these are all offensive. All right, I don't feel bad about the shop. Not a big fan of any of the relics, although cards are pretty good. Cloak and Nagger might be nice. Tranquility is decent. Another way to exit Wrath. Um, probably don't need Nirvana. Bowling Bash is a type of AoE card, so that might help. And Dark Shackles is really good, but it's very expensive. So I think I'll do Cloak and Nagger and Tranquility. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. All right, upgrade a card. Uh, do I want to upgrade the Genetic Algorithm? You know what? Let's do it. No, no, let's do the Talk to the End. I think that that is a very valuable card, and getting that upgrade will be better. All right, so Lagavulin. Um, so unfortunately, I can't do both Carve Reality and Talk to the End, but I definitely need to get an early Talk to the End out. So let's play that. Actually, I guess I could have... No, let's keep the Tranquility. Oh, should I enter Christian? No. What's coming up next turn? Yeah, next turn. Let's wake him up this turn. So I think... Uh, this is tough. All right, so next turn I have Genetic Algolim plus Piercing Whale plus Cloak and Dagger. So that'll be enough. But that means I won't be able to enter Crescendo here because then I won't be able to exit it unless I want to drink the Energy Potion. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. So I'll do Crescendo. And then Riddle with Holds. Okay. Maybe I should have used the energy. No, no, I can't use the energy potion now. All right, so then let's do Beam Cell Thunderclap. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll do Cloak and Dagger. Shiv. Okay, and then drink the energy potion. Wait, hang on. Oh, this is actually, yeah. I was close to being able to fully defend. Um, you know what? I don't think I'll need... I'll play the piercing while I'll keep it for later. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't enter Wrath anymore. I can get extra energy with the Empty Fist, though. Let's do Empty Fist. Thunderclap, Ball Lightning, Carve Reality, and sadly... Okay, it's not enough to kill. Never mind, it is enough to kill. I was also fully defended. We got Blood Vial, a Savage Combat, heal 2 HP, as well as a Snake Oil Potion, and... Yeah, Cleave is a great AoE card. I, well, not great, but it's a good AoE card. Okay, 11 incoming, Beam Cell, Carve Reality, Ball of Lightning. Can I split here? He'll split at 30-something, right? 33? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? No need to delay. Okay, and then Riddle with Holds. Actually, doesn't kill. Let's do Thunderclap, Cloak and Dagger, and then I'll do Piercing Well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 7. Genetic Algorithm is pretty... Yeah, I have to remember to play it. I almost forgot about that. Do I want to do Crescendo? No. Let's just do Iron Wave. Okay. And then next turn I can probably enter Crescendo. Yep. It's for the Cleaves particularly. Okay. So far so good. We got an Energy Potion. Inflame is decent. I am not a big fan of Prey. Let's do the Inflame. And then another shop. That's unfortunate because these relics are actually a little better. 
I wouldn't mind a boot sequence though, make sure I'm always defending the first turn. Let's do that. Okay, and then I just want to make sure no more elites, but left side gives me three more question marks. Okay. Sundial, every three times you shuffle the drop pile, gain two extra energy. Good. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Some AoE. And I didn't get it in my opening hand, which is fine. Let's do boot sequence. Beam cell, empty fist, kills this guy, right? Okay, and then let's do ball lightning, and I mean, no reason to play turbo. Mm -hmm. Another 12, riddle with holes is only 10 damage, uh, so that's not that much. Let's see. With the vulnerability, I think it goes back to 15. Still not enough, right? Um, And also gives somebody a lot of strength. Fine, let's do that. Let's do deflect... Thunderclap and Cloak and Dagger. Okay. So that way I'm fully defended. And uh, as soon as I get uh, Crescendo and a Cleave, I should be able to kill everything, right? Uh, or I'll just do Genetic Algolim and wait one more turn. I can do a Talk to the End. And I could do... No, let's not do a Cleave. That way I'll take damage. I can just wait until I enter Crescendo. Uh, actually, is that going to be enough? No. Uh, no, it is, it is. So Crescendo, Ball Lightning... And then beam cell. Okay. All right. Ball light. Another ball lightning, which I can take. Let's take these sands of time. That's actually going to help quite a bit against the slime. And then, yep, here is curse number one, as well as preserved insect. Enemies in lead combats have 25% less HP. Very nice. And here, remove transformer upgrade. I do wonder. Actually, no, I don't think there's anything I need to transform. Let's upgrade something. Uh, what should I upgrade? Let me upgrade the genetic algorithm now. The sooner I upgrade, the more powerful it'll get. Okay. All right, so no one is attacking me here. Let's do talk to the hand, ball lightning, and iron wave. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, now everybody's attacking me. Uh, let's do piercing wheel, beam cell, cleave. And then cloak and dagger. Yep, that's enough to kill. Got a cultist potion, recursion, deflect. I already have a deflect. I don't really need recursion, but I guess I'll take it. And then another question mark here for bronze scale. Sarge combo with three thorns. Very nice. Okay, one more upgrade. What should that be? Uh, do I want to make the crescendo and tranquility zero cost? No, because I might draw. I might get the snake eye. So let's let's first upgrade something like Sands of Time. That's also going to help quite a bit against, against the slime. I hope. Uh, do no, actually, I think. Oh, I just realized I didn't use generic algorithm in the last fight. Yeah, see, <laughs> exactly right after I said I have to remember or make sure I don't forget, I forgot. But yeah, let's keep it for the next cycle. Okay, so yeah, let's risk it and do Crescendo, Beam Cell, and then this is not yet enough to split, although this will be, so let's wait. Okay, hopefully I'll get, actually, if I, even if I get Sense of Time, I won't be able to play it, right? Uh, if I do Empty Fist, I won't be in Wrath anymore, which I guess is fine. Yeah, so let's do Inflame, Cleave, and Empty Fist. I guess what I could have done is also drink the snack oil and then the sense of time would have gotten way cheaper. But this works, yeah, mostly because I got lucky and no one is attacking me. So I can do Thunderclap, talk to the hand, that way I won't be weakened, and then I can do Deflect and Tranquility. Okay. And then, okay, so this guy's dead with the sense of time. What about this guy though? Yeah, it has to be a Ball Lightning, right? All right, let's do Ball Lightning, sense of time to kill you. And then beam cell, and then I, any... Actually, yeah, the orb kills. All right, perfected everything so far. I don't think I'll need the Ancient Potion. And this might be the right time to try to go for the Popper Modifier, especially since I'm not a big fan of any of these rare cards. So let's try to avoid rare cards for now. All right, definitely want to go with the Curse King and Energy of your turn. Whenever you open a non-boss chest, obtain a Curse. So that should help get me to five Curses. Okay. All right, so... One... Two, I see two two elite paths, one on the left, which would give me one, two, three question marks total. And on the right, I would get one, two, three, four, four question marks total, plus an optional late shop. Let's do the right then. Okay, 10 incoming. I do have a boot sequence for that, which is very neat. The extra energy is also going to be very useful. Mm-hmm. Not getting attacked here. Yeah, and last fight I again didn't use the generic algorithm, which again I think is fine. Uh, let's do crescendo, generic algorithm now, and then riddle with riddle with holes, and then should be able to kill fairly easily, especially when I'm in wrath. Okay. 
All right, concentrate, uh, concentrate, not consecrate uh, versus cool headed. Let's definitely go with the cool headed, especially since I already have a recursion in my deck. Shelled parasite. Okay, let's do deflect boot sequence. Cool headed recursion, thunderclap, and carp reality. Mm -hmm. Twelfth. Um, all right, let's do beam cell. I could just do sands of time, right? Yeah, no reason not to. Let's do sands of time. And then Cloak and Dagger and Ball Lightning. Okay, that way I only take one damage, which is nice. And as soon as I can enter... Oh, perfect, Genetic Algorithm. Almost forgot, forgot about that again. I think I'll wait for the... Hang on, this is 21. Yeah, that's enough to kill. Okay. All right, Loop Rebound. Uh, I don't really focus on orbs, so I don't think I need it. Let's go with the Rebound. Although, yeah, it's not a great card, but I do need to get to 35 cards anyway. So Riddle with Holds will get this guy to the ground, and then I can defend against the other guy with the um, with the uh, card I just played. Let's do Inflame, and then Riddle with Holds. Yeah. It's also 10 damage, which is fine. Oh, I should have rebounded that. Yeah, that was a mistake, actually. Yeah, with the extra strength, the Riddle with Holds gets so much better. All right, yeah, let's do Genetic Algorithm, just because I suspect I'll probably kill before I cycle back to it. Okay. Another 10 incoming. Uh, oh, I might actually take some damage here. Just because I got a somewhat unlucky draw, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Another 14. Alright, talk to the hand, iron wave, carve reality, ball lightning. Okay. And then I should be able to kill with a smite. Actually, I can do crescendo and 56 damage. Not bad. Dagger Spray Chaos. Dagger Spray is really good. It's upgraded. It's AoE. I totally forgot. I decided to go on the right side, right? Yep. Okay. Centurion and Mystic. 12 incoming right off the bat. Uh, I could rebound the Sands of Time. Is that too much? Oh, actually, I don't have the energy to rebound the Sands of Time. Let's rebound the Cleave then. Okay. Yeah, I think this deck desperately needs card draw. Because only drawing 5 cards is definitely not enough. Alright, let's do Genetic Algorithm, Thunderclap, Cleave, and Iron Wave. Mm -hmm, not getting attacked this turn. Do I want to do Crescendo here? I mean, this would kill one of them. Yeah, why not? Let's do Crescendo. And then I'll do Inflame. Sands of Time kills you. And then might as well Beam Cell this guy. Okay. Now he might decide to attack. He did not. Good. Easy. I got an explosive potion, which I don't think I'll take. Uh, I don't actually... It's just the Thunderclap that gives me... Well, actually, I guess it's Thunderclap and the Beam Cell that give vulnerability to the enemy. Not sure if it's worth for a dropkick, but yeah, fine, let's take it. It's better than the odd maneuver, for sure. Okay, I have to risk it. We got Serpent Head. Whenever you enter a question mark room, gain 50 gold. Very handy. All right, Book of Stabbing. I might need to use potions here to be able to fully defend, especially when he has 21 incoming. If he had the multi-hit, I had a piercing well here. So I don't think there's much I can do. I think I have to play both of these and then drink the snake oil. Ooh, this is perfect. Um, Yeah, a little expensive, but I have to do it. Hang on. So if I do Crescendo, he'll attack for... How much was it? 42 minus tw no, 30, right? I think it should be 30. So I can enter Crescendo if I really wanted to. Let's do it. Let's do Generic Algorithm. Drink the Energy Potion. Then do Crescendo. Then do Sands of Time. And then do Empty Fist. Okay. So far so good. 12 incoming. Yeah, defense is going to be a problem. I can do something like Cool Headed. Uh, I could rebound the Recursion. I might want to rebound the Recursion here. Because I will need as much block as possible next turn. Okay, so I'm still fully defended. 28 damage. This is 15. This would give me a bunch of block, right? But not enough. It will give me 15 block plus the orb plus recursion. Yeah, I think this might work. Can I just kill here with vulnerability? I think it will be four times. No, that's not enough. All right. Let's do... Hang on. I think this is enough. If I do Thunderclap, talk to the hand, and yeah, that's enough. Okay, close one. Perfected this one, though. We got Champion Belt. Whenever you apply Vulnerable, also apply one weak. Really good. Actually, now I want more source of Vulnerability. I already have Sense of Time, so let's take the Foreign Influence. Okay. Shell Parasite and Fungi Beast. Let's do Thunder... Uh, actually, hang on. Let me do Boot Sequence first. Do I want to rebound? Let's rebound the uh, Cleave, I guess. Okay. Rebound Cleave. All right. And then Empty Fist. 
Oh, actually, thanks to the champion belt, I'm only taking one damage here. Mm -hmm, another 11. Let's do beam cell. Cleave. Sadly, recursion is useless. I might as well do tranquility. Okay. Another 18. That's a little more. Uh, let's see. So, cool headed. Crescendo, I sadly cannot play yet. Uh, let's do. I guess Ball Lightning will give me some block, and then I'll do Riddle with Holes to get rid of uh, some of the artifact. Okay. And then 56. Yeah, I can just do Crescendo and. Oh, I did not play the Genic Algorithm, did I? Yeah, I should have waited for that. That was my mistake. We got a Dex Potion, Turbo Meditate. Let's take the Meditate. Okay. All right, another shop. Well, at least the relics are not bad here. Do I want to do Juzu Bracelet? Hang on. The cards are not amazing. I have these two, and I'm not a big fan of the others. Although Shockwave would be nice with the Champion Belt. And I do have the Energy. Who's my final boss? Collector. Yeah, if I take it, though, I won't be able to... No, hang on. I will be able to afford this. All right, let's take the Shockwave. And then between these two, I don't often play more than three attacks, but any bit of block I can get is, is valuable, right? Let's take the Ornament and Fan. Every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Okay. All right, here I got uh, my first Curse Doubt. No, wait, is that my first Curse? That is? No, my second Curse, right? Regret and Doubt. So as Nunchaku, every time I play 10 attacks, gain extra energy. That can come in handy. And uh, so I forgot. I'm not going to be able to get the Highlander modifier if I get duplicate curses, right? Uh, well, I still can't remove that second doubt. We got Mercury Hourglass. As I return, deal three damage to all enemies. Actually, I do wonder. Wait, if I reload, let me try this real quick. If I reload, will I still get the same curse or is the curse already in my deck? It might already be in my deck. Yeah, no, it's the same curse. Let me try one more time just to be sure. Because I think it, it depends on the uh, random number generation. So if you would have gotten a different card, you would have also gotten a different curse. Yeah, no, it's the same curse. All right. Mercury Eyeglasses, it's our return. Deal three damage to all enemies. Okay. All right. So Slaver and Taskmaster. Opening hand generic algorithm is great. I can't actually do... Uh, I can't kill one of them with Sands of Time, right? Maybe I want to do that. Uh, yeah, let's do genetic algorithm. Oh, well, I, I, can, I can do turbo. Fine, let's do it. Beam cell and sense of time. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so 19 incoming. Uh, I have a lot of AOE, but not enough blocks, sadly. Let me see. So, hmm, this is tough. Okay, let me drink the dex potion for sure. Do the Cloak and Dagger. And then can I kill with this AoE? So it's going to be 8 plus 6 is 14. Plus another 6 is 20. So not enough to kill this guy. I could get something back. Might have to get the Boot Sequence back. Let's do it. Not feeling great about that. But I don't really think I have a choice. So that gives me enough block. And then I can still do what I wanted to. Okay. Yeah, I, I needed the Boot Sequence. There's no other way to fully defend this turn. Alright, and then 13. Yeah, that's enough. Good. Uh, yep, okay. An incense burner every six turns gain one intangible as well as liquid bronze and claw or wall strike. I am not sure. Uh, my deck is, well, I guess wall strike. Claw is pretty bad. I, I guess I'm not sure if I want to take wall strike, but it's not going to hurt. Although I did complain about the fact that I don't really have card draw. So having an extra wound in my deck might be a problem, but let's take it. It's fine. Well, hopefully it'll be fine. Okay, snake plant. Let's do inflame, cool headed, and then uh, yeah, let's do wild strike and drop kick. Might as well. Mm -hmm. All right, twenty one incoming. Piercing will is perfect here. Then ball lightning cleave, and uh, yeah, I have lots of energy. Sadly, not enough card draw to really utilize that energy. Another twenty one. Ooh, this is bad. All right, let's do beam cell rebound and just accept the uh, fifteen damage. Okay. As soon as I have Crescendo and Sands of Time, I should be able to kill. Uh, not before playing the Dragon Algorithm. Good. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do Crescendo and Sands of Time. Okay. All right, Consecrate, Heavy Blade. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough strength for Heavy Blade to be worth it. Let's take the Consecrate. Still, I need way more card draw than what I currently have. Uh, I can get the Bird to the Ground with the Dagger Spray. Yeah, let's do Inflame, Beam Cell, Dagger Spray, and Boot Sequence. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm intangible here. Hang on. Uh, let me... Well, in the next fight, I should try to time the intangibility. 
to the right value. But let's get there first. Cleave and uh, Carve Reality. Oh, I should have done Crescendo here. Let me do it now, and then next turn I can play a pretty good Smite. Uh, or just kill with the Sons of Time. Okay. Got a Dex Potion. Cut through Fate. Yep, that's pretty decent. Mm -hmm. All right, so here, wait, uh, Incense Burner. The Collector doesn't attack on turn one, right? So I want this to be on turn four. So ideally, I'll kill in two turns or just wait for eight turns, which might be harder. Let's try to kill in two turns if I can. Uh, might be difficult. All right, let's get rid of one of them. Carf Reality, Riddle with Holds, and Empty Fist. Okay. All right, uh, so let's see. I got Deflect, Ball Lightning, and Cut Through Fate. Uh, I would like a Crescendo, especially if I want to kill next turn. But I would also like for an Influence. It's not upgraded, though. Let's just take the Crescendo and do a Smite. Okay. And Tranquility, sure. So this guy's dead. Mm-hmm. Okay, can I kill these guys? I don't think so. No. Let me see what the Foreign Influence gives me. Yeah, nothing super useful. All right, uh, so then I have to wait for six turns. That's going to be rough, but it's what I have to do. All right, so let's do Shockwave. I think I'll rebound the Iron Wave. I do want to kill one of them, because otherwise I'll take a little too much damage. Mm-hmm. All right, and then here let's do Iron Wave, Cloak and Dagger. Okay, not taking any damage here. But I have to remember, so each turn, I uh, the enemy gets... Ooh, 9 damage. I can't even wait, right? Because I have the Mercury Hourglass, my Lightning Orb, and the Thorns. Uh, at least I can get a genetic algorithm out. It's fine, it's fine. He'll die on his own, but um, I won't have the Instance Burner active on the, second, on the first turn, which is sort of what I wanted. Um, can I defend here? Let's do Piercing Well. And then I'll accept the 9 damage, just so he's alive for one more turn. Okay. And then now he's going to be dead, right? Fine. Actually, I should have let him die, so I could have kept an Nunchaku. All right, fine. Moving on. Ooh, wish is worth breaking the Popper modifier, but it is a little late. Uh, I already have a Cloak and Dagger. I think I'll risk it still to not take any rare cards, even though Wish would have been a pretty good one. Just for the gold, yeah, you can get out of it. So upgrading Meditate or Foreign Influence, I'm actually leaning towards upgrading Foreign Influence because the difference between upgrading it and not upgrading it is huge. Okay. All right, Collector, this is the perfect time for the Cultist Potion and maybe the Liquid Bronze, but let's get there first. All right, let's do Inflame for an Influence, which gives me Rip and Terror, Doom and Gloom. Doom and Gloom might not be a bad idea. Let's take it. And then I'll do Thunderclap, Ball Lightning, and Doom and Gloom. Okay. All right, everybody's attacking me, and I don't have any block. Yeah, see, if the Instance Burner wasn't the right value, I would have been fully defended here, so... What I think I'll do, clearly there's no way I can fully defend. What I think I'll do is I will pretend that I was fully defended this turn and see if I can keep keep it going. Um, well, I can kill one of them. Yeah, nothing I could have done about that. So let's assume I got the instance burner to the right value. Then, yeah, this I would have been easily able to defend. Let's do Consecrate, Cut Through Fate, Get rid of the Doubt, okay. And then Cool Headed... Uh, I could rebound. Well, there's no reason to rebound a smite. Let's just play this. All right, and then if I was intangible two turns ago, I wouldn't have been intangible, which uh, this is very disappointing here, I have to say. Let's do beam cell, and then, uh, yeah, I'll accept one damage from the regret. Let's meditate. Maybe, wait, is he summoning? He's not. Okay. Maybe a genetic algorithm. He might be attacking next turn. Okay. And he is attacking next turn. All right, good. Oh, I am actually not able to fully defend, although I do have a deflect. Do I want to do Shockwave? It's a little expensive. I'd rather do... Well, actually, Riddle with Holds gives me enough block. Here, let me do Crescendo. Then a Riddle with Holds. Okay. I should have done Shockwave first. No, actually, I wouldn't have enough energy for that. Uh, so let's do Dagger Spray. And then I will do Tranquility. Okay. Another 31. Can I kill here? No. No, I cannot. All right, so that makes me feel a little better, which because uh, that means that even if I had put the instance burner on the right value, there's no way I could have fully defended against this turn, which makes me feel a little better. So I don't think 
it wasn't my well it was a mistake to not get the instance burner to the right value but it didn't end up costing me a perfect all right we got a flex potion corpse explosion die die uh corpse explosion is also pretty good if i get dono deck at the end but no let's stick with the popper modifier and between between these options i wouldn't mind getting a few more cards upgraded but i sort of got most of the cards i want upgraded already so maybe it is the fusion hammer no let's actually go with the slavers call it during boston elite combats gain extra energy i start return that's sort of a safe relic it just makes it a little harder in regular um hallway fights but i only care about elite and boss fights anyway for the good score only one elite path here again disappointing all right, so if I stick on the left, it's one, two, three question marks. In the middle left, it's one, two, three, four. Yep, plus a shop. In the middle right, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the far right, it's less than that. All right, so let's go in the middle right. This is one, two, three, and then a shop here, four, five, six. And then I don't have to go for the, the other shop unless I get a surprisingly large amount of gold. So seven incoming. Uh, let's beam cell rebound the cool headed. And then, uh, yeah, let's do boot sequence. I don't think I need to do recursion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this third eye actually might be really tough because I don't have good damage. I, I do have a genetic goblin, which is useful, but that alone can't win any fights for me. Let's inflame and then riddle withhold to you. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm intangible in turn where only one of them is attacking. Uh, let's do Twin Strike. Talk to the hand. Okay. I should have done... I didn't notice I had a Thunderclap. That would have killed. Maybe I didn't want to kill. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. So this guy... No, he's not dead on my thorns yet, but they're all somewhat close. Just need a Dagger Spray here. Fall Lightning. Okay. Iron Wave. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Wild Strike. And I'll meditate. Probably just a Riddle with Holtz. That should be enough to kill. Oh, uh, I did play the Algorithm, right? Okay, Cleave, Twin Strike. I already have a Cleave, right? But no Twin Strike? Let's take the Twin Strike then. Okay. Or Blocker here. All right. Uh, so Riddle with Holtz. Let's do Boot Sequence, and I'll accept a little bit of damage. Okay, actually not that much, just one, right? Keep forgetting about Ornamental Fan. 13 for an influence gives me... Predator is pretty good, yeah. So let's do Iron Wave, Consecrate, Predator, and then Carpiality. I should have done the Smite, but maybe I should wait for the... Feel, not Feel No Pain, what do you call it? Genetic Algorithm. Uh, can I defend here? Because I would like to avoid taking damage if I can. And uh, Doesn't look like it. Do I want to take that much damage? Maybe. No, no, let's kill. Okay. Got a strength potion, which I don't think I'll take. An upgrade armaments. Yeah, I'll take it, sure. I decided to go on the left here, right? Oh, no, I, I do have a shop upcoming. 334 gold is just too much. Uh, but if I take this, I do have still two shops. I could remove two curses, technically. But then I still get another curse from the chest here, right? Let's do it. It will give me um, a bunch of gold as well. The normalities might make it a little harder, but I think it is worth it just from a score perspective. So right now I have five curses, but sadly I'm also going to lose my Highlander modifier. So I think instead, if I can remove two of them, and maybe if I can, I mean, I'm guaranteed another curse here. So maybe if one of those question marks is a, another curse that's unique, then then I'm golden. But let's get the first. Add in flame, consecrate, cloak and dagger, and dropkick shiv. Okay. Again, incense burner active, sadly, on the wrong turn. Talk to the hand, twin strike, cleave, deflect, cool headed, and that's it. Okay, I'll take a little bit of damage here. I'll accept that. Who's my final boss? I wasn't paying attention. It is the time eater. Okay, yeah, not the best, but I'll survive. Strength all of them, beam cell. All right, this is a problem with the normality, it limits my hand quite a bit. Yep, and then once again, let's do dagger spray iron wave and empty fist okay no need to do piercing well since i'm already fully defended thanks to talk to the hand as well as all the other block i get okay ball lightning carve reality and smite okay 23 riddle withholds gives me 15 block right let me actually rebound that riddle withholds okay i'll take some damage but it's okay 
and intangible in the wrong turn again. Let's do here. I think I'll do crescendo, thunderclap, and then root of withholds. 55 damage and should be able to kill next turn with the sense of time, right? Okay. Alright, we've got a skill potion, which I don't think I'll need. Perfect the strike, definitely not. I'll take a prepared, not happy about it. Maybe I should take a skill potion instead of a flex potion, because I, well, I guess I have the um, riddle with holds, but that's pretty much it, so, yeah. Alright, giant head. Let's see, so cool headed, definitely. Yeah, this fight would benefit greatly from extra card draw, which I don't have. Okay, I'll wait though. Mm -hmm, 13. Rebound, Consecrate. Uh, let me see what the Prepared gives me. Okay, this is not bad. Let's rebound the Cut Through Fate. Get rid of this. Okay. Riddle Withholds. Yeah, it would be better if I had any defensive card. Let me see what the Skill Potion gives me. Ah, come on. No defensive cards. I can't do anything here, right? Well, if I'm not perfecting this one, I uh, might as well gain some strength out of it. Okay. Consecrate, and then Riddle Withholds, and Dropkick. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to perfect. Maybe I should have uh, discarded more cards with the Cutthroat Fate. Yeah, that might have been a good option. All right, let's do Beam Cell, Ball Lightning, Cutthroat Fate, and then I will do an Inflame here. Okay. Recursion, and that's it. Okay. Another 13. Finally. The Talk to the End is what I need at the beginning, and it took definitely took its time. All right, let's do talk to the hand, wild strike. Yeah, I don't think I need tranquility here, right? Yeah, wild strike and sands of time. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, finally intangibility being useful in the turn where I need it, although I do also have to make Ogvin, which I think I will save in this situation. Let's do crescendo meditate, although if I do that, I won't be able to enter wrath again. So I think I'll rather save the crescendo. Let's do foreign influence for a pummel. So then thunderclap pummel. Okay, and there's a normality, so I can't do the meditate. That's fine. All right, 20 or 35, right? He's not weakened anymore. Okay, so I need the shockwave. Let's also do deflect. And then, uh, yeah, just twin strike and empty fist. Okay, I am, uh, yeah, not super happy with how much damage I'm taking. Can I get a drag algorithm again, please? Nope, I guess I have to kill without it. So let's do turbo, crescendo, and then this is enough. Oh, hang on. Let me try to do more than 100 damage. So let's do cleave. And then, ah, uh, 90. That was my mistake. I should have played the tranquility first. That might have given me an extra 5. That still wouldn't have been enough. Yeah, this was probably the best fight to deal more than 90 damage, and, or 100, and I missed it. We got Ekabika, your first attack each combat deals 8 additional damage. As well as, I already have foreign influence. Let's take the tantrum here. Actually, tantrum is really useful. Uh, definitely not going to lose generic algorithm or the inflame. Let's lose the cleave, even though it is nice AOE, it's not urgently needed anymore. Sorry about that. All right, let's do generic algorithm here and then dagger spray. But that could be good. That was actually really powerful. I didn't even notice I had that. All right. Okay, and then here, let's see what the foreign influence gives me. Whirlwind, Sands of Time. It will be a zero cost Sands of Time, right? This is exactly what I want that card to be upgraded as much as possible. So, hang on, 15, 20, 35, he has 42. Uh, yeah, so I can do Sands of Time, Twin Strike, and Riddle with Ults, good. Okay, Cutthroat Fate I already have, right? So I think I'll go with the Leap here. All right. And then, yeah, going to the right, let's see what curse I get here. Clumsy, okay, as, as well as Strike Dummy. Cards containing Strike deal three additional damage, okay. So I think I will try this. I will remove the two duplicate curses, and I'd rather go for the Highlander than go for the Curse Modifier. Because everything else in the deck is ready, right? So let's remove the extra normality first. Okay. Oh, and then I have a bunch of gold, right? So, wait, hang on. How many relics do I have? 5, 10, 15. So if I buy everything, I have two shops. I can get to 21, sadly, not to 25. So, yeah, I don't think I'll do that. Let's take Wallop, though. Uh, Panic Button is my favorite card. Let's take it. Skewer is fine. I already have Meditate. Let's take Hologram. In terms of the relics, I don't think I need self forming Clay. I'd barely lose HP. Uh, Regal Pillar is definitely not needed. Abacus, also really not needed. Let's take the Block Potion here, and then I think I'll save for the next gold. I mean, let me... I have the gold. Let's buy all of these. Yeah, but then... Yeah, I think that's fine. I just realized I... I mean, the run is almost over, right? I don't want to finish the run with over a thousand gold left. Okay, okay. Another Relic here. 
Still, it's not going to get me to 25, but, you know, it's nice that the game appreciates what I need and gives it to me sometimes. Let's do Carve Reality. No, um, I probably don't want to do Panic Button. Let's do Cut Through Fate. Dagger Spray is actually great. Okay, I'll take a little bit of damage here. That's fine. Mm -hmm. All right, Intangible here. That's good. Let's do Thunderclap, Turbo, and then Skewer for 50 damage. Not bad. Okay, actually, he's dead next turn thanks to my Thorns and the Mercury Eyeglass, right? Okay. All right, let's do Shockwave, Deflect, and then I'll do Meditate for probably Skewer again. Yeah, that's been pretty useful last turn. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I was just going to say, if I can enter Wrath, that would be perfect. All right. We got Unseizing Top. Whenever you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. Probably going to happen rarely with the Curses I have. Then between Empty Body and Sucker Punch, both are fine. Let's take the Sucker Punch for some weakness. Okay, transform a card. Actually, that would allow me to transform a uh, a Doubt and get another Curse. There's still one more question mark, right? So that could give me a Curse. Let's do it. Uh, where is the Doubt? Here. I got a Parasite. Okay, nice. So that's a unique Curse. And yes. No, this would give me a Parasite as well. Hang on, wait, what do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, no, I already have five curses. So I just have to make sure I don't get a curse here. Wait, how did that... Where did I get a fifth curse? Parasite, Clumsy, Normality, Doubt, and Regret. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, never mind. No, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, so let me try my best not to get a curse here. That means if I can help it, I'm not gonna... I'm always gonna make sure I have an attack so I can make him not give me a curse. Yeah, no, this is fine. Let's do boot sequence, and I'll do tranquility, sure. Okay. Probably could have drank the... Actually, I should have drank the liquid bronze. That's fine. All right, 10 incoming. Let's do deflect. Sucker punch. And only if I... Yeah, if I had gotten a curse here, I don't think I'll attack here. Because then I might give a, get a curse, and that will ruin me from getting another 100 points. So, let's wait. Okay, I am intangible next turn, right? So, let me just survive this turn. Uh, let's do... Rebound the... Oh, no. See? Hmm. Let's just do Piercing Well here and wait. Okay. Alright, so here I'm intangible. Okay. Let's do Inflame, Thunderclap, Dropkick. Okay. Beam Cell. And, uh... Yeah, I don't think I need Cloak and Dagger here. Yeah, no reason to play that ship. Okay. 16. Sense of Time would have been great. It just took me forever to draw it. Uh, anything I want to hologram. Let's do Cool Headed. Hologram. Probably 16 incoming. Uh, something defensive. I barely have anything good defensive, right? Deflect seems silly. Yeah, that's a problem. I just barely have anything good defensive. Alright, let's take a Cloak and Nagger, I guess. Okay, well, I have an extra attack. Let me see what the shiv makes happen. No, 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 I don't want that. So, ball lightning, it has to be 16. Yeah, I guess I'm back to where I started. Okay. And sense of time. I'm weakened now, so that's not going to be enough. But I can do the crescendo here. Let's do armaments, crescendo, and then this is 42. That's enough. Good. All right. Not Didn't get an extra curse. Heavy blade and cleave. I don't think I'll take any, although... I am close to getting to 50 cards if I get five more cards in the next um, shop. And also take the Heavy Blade. But no, I don't think I'll do that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I can't believe I have five curses. All right, let's give this one. I don't want to put too much junk in my deck. Definitely want to go with Bag Operation. I start combat, draw two additional cards as well as... Do I want to do the Cauldron? This, this arm is really good. I already have these two. Definitely don't want this. Predator is fine. Actually, I do need extra card draw. Let's take it. Finesse is decent. And then I could do max uh, max HP here, although that's not going to help much. Uh, 300, 400. I have to go to support it. Let's do that. Okay. And then Whetstone, I'm going to pick up upgrade two random attacks. Drop King and Tantrum got upgraded. And Cauldron, I'm going to pick up brew five random potions. Of these, uh, so I definitely like the block potion. Probably don't need the dex potion. I could take ancient and speed potion instead of the dex potion. That might be better. This card. And I was thinking of taking the snack oil, but no, I think the uh, block potion is pretty good. And then, oh, I could also afford a power potion, but no, let's just move on. Okay. All right, what to upgrade next? Um, I actually, let's upgrade the disarm. 
Okay. All right, time eater. Let's see what you got. 21 incoming, and I do have a wall up here. Ooh, if I do tantrum, I won't be able to exit, but I do have a piercing well. It is dangerous, but I think I'll do it. Let me first drink the ancient potion and the speed potion, and then do tantrum. Okay. And then I could do wallop too, right? I'm going to do thunderclap, wallop. Okay. Actually, I'm fully defended without having to play the piercing well. Let's let's wait then. All right. Just need to make sure I have a way to exit wrath. Yep. Oh, good. Empty fist. Ah, that was nice. Although, even with empty fist, I still won't be able to fully defend, right? Let me try, though. So let's do consecrate. Ball lightning for a little bit of block. No, I mean, it's 27 incoming, right? I do have a block push now. It's only 12. Let me drink it either way. And then I could do Sands of Time, but I don't think that's going to help too much. Let's do Empty Fist. I don't need much. Uh, I don't need much, but I don't have it. Again, if Incense Burner was on one or zero here, that would have been enough. Um, let's do Tranquility, sure. Yeah, nothing I can do about this. Or maybe, hang on, could I have just played a bunch of cards and tried to get something with Unseen Top? Would have been a long shot. I really needed that uh, talk to the end. That was sort of what I was relying on. Uh, I don't think I can do Tantrum anymore. Let's just play the Shockwave because I can only play one more card. Or should that be the Predator for extra card draw next turn? Let, no, let's just do Shockwave. Okay. Alright, I am intangible here, which is nice. Uh, let's do Finesse, Cloak and Dagger, and then just a Shift. Okay. Mm -hmm. I still had 2.27, right? So I still have some time. Ooh, no, definitely want to keep the generic AUG with them. Let's do Armaments, Sucker Punch, Wild Strike. And then I think I'll meditate. What should I meditate? Wallop is great to meditate. And then probably Predator. Okay. Maybe Armaments, actually. That might have been good, too. All right, so now he's transforming. Should I just play five cards or wait? Next turn, I'll be weakened. Let's wait. I don't think I can kill here, so there's no reason to give him extra strength. Okay, not getting attacked here. Finally, a talk to the end. Actually, it did show up in the right time after the transformation, so that helps a little bit. Uh, brilliance, Rip and Tear, and Sneaky Strike. Let's do Rip and Tear. I should have the uh, strength. And then here, if I do Iron Wave, I won't be able to... Hang on. Do I have a way to exit Wrath next turn? I do not. All right, I guess I wait. I should, probably shouldn't have played that Rip and Tear, actually. Yeah, because now I can only play two cards, and I have to defend by, against quite a bit. Am I dead here? Well, luckily I have the decks to be able to play the def uh, deflect. Hang on, with extra strength it'll be 44, and I have 44 exactly. All right, so I have to do deflect and then something like twin strike. Yeah, not feeling great about this. Very close to death here. Okay, luckily I'm not getting attacked. Uh, I could do crescendo and then a big skewer, right? Let's do it. Actually, hang on, let me hologram. There's a turbo in the deck, right? Okay. All right, and then crescendo, and then how much is this? 18 times 8. Not bad. And next turn, I'm intangible too. Okay, so this actually turned out fine, but yeah, I don't think there's any way I could have perfected. Um, so, oh, look at that horrible hand here. Okay. And then 16 damage seems very doable, especially when I'm in Wrath. Oh, not even that, right? Just 4 damage. Okay, definitely no chance of perfecting this one. But I thought overall it went well. I'm very proud of having both Highlander and Curses. 1173. Okay. So out of the five elites, which was actually disappointingly low, I did perfect three and I only got the first act boss. But yeah, so Highlander and Popper and Curses, I think those helped me quite a bit. I wasn't that far off on the uh, Encyclopedia modifier, so just needed three more cards. But yeah, my deck already was pretty garbage, especially with Diverse. It's very easy to just fill up on cards that are not going to really help in any way. And I think I had a lot of those. Like, a lot of these just didn't help. Like, didn't fit its synergy. Drink Algolum was sort of nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, even though I didn't perfect two out of the three bosses, I still got 1173, which I think is a decent score. Let's see where we stand, this, uh, stand in the rankings. All right, I'm ninth right now, although I guess tied with 10th and 11th, which is not bad. Um, so if I had somehow perfected the last two bosses, I would have gotten another 150, which would have put me at 1323. 1323, that would have been third. But I think this deck just doesn't allow that to happen. Um, 
so yeah no it was a fun run thanks for watching let me know in the comments how you played uh, i don't see any familiar names so i'm not sure if everybody was just unsuccessful or maybe people are enjoying their uh holidays but anyway um i'll see you tomorrow bye